In this video, you will learn how to fix security policy prevents use of camera on Samsung phone. This problem can be frustrating because it stops you from taking photos or videos. But don't worry, I'll guide you through the steps to solve it and get your camera working again. To get started, swipe down from the top of your screen. Swipe down again to access additional options. Here, you'll see a quick settings tell called, sensors off. If it's currently enabled, simply tap on it to turn it off. This simple action will solve your problem immediately. If you don't see the sensors off option, don't panic. Tap on the gear icon located at the top right corner to open your settings page. Once in settings, scroll all the way down until you find developer options. If developer options are not already enabled on your device, check out the pinned link in the comments section for a step-by-step -step video guide on how to enable them. After enabling developer options, tap on it to access its features. Scroll down until you find Quick Settings Developer Tiles. Once located, tap on it. Now toggle on the switch next to Sensors Off. This will add the Sensors Off tile into your Quick Settings menu. With that done, access your Quick Settings and follow the initial steps shown earlier in this video and disable the Sensors Off option. This should help resolve any issues related to camera access due to security policies. If problems persist even after adjusting these settings, open up Settings, then scroll down until you find Apps. Tap on it. Next, scroll through your list of apps until you locate Camera. Tap on it. Once you're on the Camera App Info page, tap for Stop. Then scroll down a bit and select Storage. From there, tap Clear Data. Tap Delete to confirm it. This will reset any corrupted data that might be causing issues with camera access. Now go back and tap on Permissions. Here's where you'll need to allow all necessary permissions. Make sure everything is set correctly so that your camera has full access. After you've adjusted these permissions, restart your device by holding down the power button and selecting Restart from the menu. This reboot helps apply all changes made during this troubleshooting process effectively. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.